for correction, I was born and brought up in Kerala only. I came to Delhi only for college in 2006. Before that, I was in Kerala. Uh, good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Good afternoon. Uh, it is my pleasure and privilege to be your Toastmaster of the day on this special day, February 29th. The next time one of you get lucky enough to be in my position, you would probably be as experienced as our President Toastmaster Shahid and hopefully a DTM too. Kudos to you sir, leading by example. Uh, before I start talking about my thoughts on today's theme, I want to ask you guys, like, what do you understand by the phrase leap of faith? And if you have any personal experience of taking a major leap of faith in your life. If, by that I don't, I will not count the experience of getting married as a leap of faith. That even though it is probably the bravest and the biggest decision one can take in their, this or her life. So if anybody can volunteer and talk about your, yes please sir. So what is it? I have a very strong fear of heights. And eventually when I am on a height and I recognize that I am on a height, I get instant peak level panic attack. Right. So it happened that few days, uh, years back, I went to Uzbekistan and same thing happened when I was on a trolley. Right. Somehow just I uh, ride on this thing that hold on the gun till the time you reach down, just surrender and hold on to your best abilities. It was just that I held it on because just slightest of the slip can lead me to even down the valley. Nice. So that happened. That's a very inspiring story. Kudos to you, sir. Uh, when, if you look at the like the Google dictionary, like which is probably taken over all of the dictionaries, the if you look at the definition of leap of faith, it is an act of doing something, uh, something which you cannot, the existence of which or the outcome of which you cannot prove or be known. When I think about my personal experience, there have been three instances. The two, two of them which I had already undertaken and the third one I am in the process of undertaking. The first one is coming from a small town in Kerala, God's own country to big city, Devil's own city, Delhi. Immediately after school and joining here for college, it was a big leap of faith for me. All the people who knew me at that point of time thought, I mean, I probably didn't get an admission in any of the engineering or medical professional colleges in Kerala which is why I had to travel 3,000 kilometers and join St. Stephen's College for an unprofessional course. Uh, thankfully, because of that decision, I'm standing in front of you guys and speaking to you. The second one is, in 2015, I had to, I left my comfortable, cushy lawyer's job and started a restaurant in Delhi without any prior experience. This was a major leap of faith and at that point, I clearly remember my Grandmother genuinely believed that uh, with, the tag, with the tag of being a Daba owner, I will probably not be able to find a suitable wife. Five years <laughs> down the day, I am the owner of a multiple award winning restaurant and husband to a beautiful wife. And the third one which I am currently undertaking is we are opening another restaurant in uh, Turkan soon and I am also in the process of buying a house uh, in Delhi with very little savings and a lot of loans. I don't know how this one is going to turn out. Hopefully, you'll continue seeing me if I can understand until the creditors come back and come after me or whatever. <laughs> Hoping for the best. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on, let us begin the meeting. Before that, I would like to explain what a typical Toastmaster meeting is like. There are three sessions. The first session is the prepared speeches session, where the speakers, are, the, where the speakers have to deliver their speeches based on the objectives given by Toastmaster International. The this session is effective, effectively makes you a better communicator by implementing all techniques of public speaking on the stage. The second session is the table topic sessions, where you are given a topic on the spot and you have to speak for nearly two minutes. This session will help you improve your impromptu public speaking skills and also help you think on your feet. This, uh, we also encourage the guests to take part in this session. The third and final session is the evaluation session where the evaluators will give feedback and mention the areas that can be improved upon. Let us, uh, uh, let me also introduce my auxiliary role players or the tag team who represent the four 
fiddlers which make any Toastmaster meeting successful. Our first auxiliary role player is Toastmaster, uh, the, the timer Toastmaster Vishan. Maybe uh, Toastmaster Vishan on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> 